there's this piece of breaking news uh about uh, my Ghanaians in the diaspora specifically those living in the usa or makuma uh, a break it pan. now a few days ago man of god be our usa uh oh yeah uh, leader of revelation city church your friend reverend maxwell appear and then a year mrs Eunice appear ever out a be creative public awareness say uh, omu babima a uh, friend of Darius appear a uh, year according to them almost say this is the first time and it is very mysterious because I'm um, from work to home, from church to home. And see, uh, for this, I'm on birth, you know, it's just, it's very, very worrying. I'm um, complain to the police in the USA. I'm um, share investigation, I say. Uh, exactly on January 23rd, 2024, and Adarius, Eiraye. And my days later, you know, the story became very big in America as well as in uh, Ghana. A lot of people were looking forward to a brand TV, um, now, according to investigation, or you are exactly 2.22 p.m., Emra upon Efri Ejumum say, Wa order Ejwani B. Or Fredericksburg, A upe se, Okofa. Na, Eche se, Obofi. Ye se, at that point, Ena che se, Ni fun, a call off. That was his last location. Ah, Eche se, He went missing since that time. A police, Eche che, Eche che, Ome unu, Living, the particular issue, Into the hands of, Ne mame, any ne papa na omo anka so mo organize a search a party a ah, chese eh, Ghanaians in virginia and beyond a eh, bar together just to help them search a eh, location be of virginia friend of creek fredericksburg a eh, honum and a chese eh, any last location a ah, police at eh, the mom say that was where he last eh, stopped now Ghanaians were moving back together as Tommy Woods be a worker as searching for hours. Upon hours of searching, they finally uh, discovered say uh, uh, Darius appear. Now, according to speculations and rumor, Obi Eddie be Adria and other dear a bonitico a match so fancy a woo ye into no. Uh, just said uh, they found him dead there, which was very heartbreaking uh, to the mom. Mrs. Eunice Apia and then the Papa, Reverend Maxwell Apia, who were also in the scene. Now, it came as a very big shocking news because even the police are um, claiming so almost searching for weed dogs among others. No, they couldn't find him dead unless the uh, Ghanaians came together. Ah, uh, just almost so almost um, search party thoroughly and I just almost um, discover uh, the body. This has kind of created uh, some form of Concern, say, be an police for no, they weren't interested in uh, this particular case. And no man, yeah, oh my juma, a year now. I will host them, they say, a chess a brand away happens to be one of the favorite uh, children of Reverend Maxwell appear any units appear up till now. No, uh, the main cause of his death, no, will be a name now. So it is believed that police for I shall see a year investigation on this particular uh, topic as well as this particular incident uh, and chebia uh, almost the cause of death ebeba uh, we share some videos related to uh, just, uh, the death of uh, darius appear mra just any mame ebeya announcement any search party on my year here i will create fredericksburg in uh, virginia leading to him getting found uh, dead here kind of seven bars tv so and uh, um, we only subscribe here and my YouTube channel. Watch your video you now on TikTok and Facebook. I say log on to YouTube now and subscribe here and my Vimbas on YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Since Wednesday of last week, we have not seen Darius. His phone has been off. It's it's there's no signal for his phone at all whatsoever. Um, the police have been trying to track, but there's no signal. Um, we checked his bank accounts and his credit cards that are connected to his bank accounts and nothing has been used. There's no activity, um, which is very concerning to us because some people have suggested that maybe he was just out doing his own thing, um, which we would have been more happy to find that out than anything else. Because right now we don't know what's going on with Darius. But we thank God for the strength that he's given us through this. And we trust that he's going to continue to give us strength until we find Darius. And we're not going to stop looking until we find Darius. We're not going to stop looking until we find Darius.
We also want to thank the entire community and everyone who's been supporting us across the nation. We've received so many phone calls, prayers. We thank each and every one of you all um, globally, even outside of the country. People have been reaching out, just expressing so much love. I believe that's part of what's keeping us going, the abundance of love that people are sharing and the prayers are really keeping us going because, you know, we know that God is here, but we don't see him physically, but we see him through the love that others express. So we thank you for your love, for your prayers. We thank you guys for sharing because we have to keep this public because you all have been sharing is getting media attention now. And so people know what's going on and um, people are taking it more serious and getting more engaged in this whole thing. So we thank you for the shares. Um, we thank you for your time because people have been doing everything that they can to help us to search. We thank you. Um, for everybody, the clergy, uh, we, we've heard of all these groups, churches, pastors that we don't even know are praying for us night and day, praying for Darius. And so we just want to thank you. A reason why I'm, I'm being so thankful is because I believe that gratitude attracts the power of God. Here where we're all standing is the area where his car was found. Um, when Darius got off of work at 221, he, um, he placed the order to pick up some food at a restaurant on DoorDash. That restaurant is about 12 minutes from here. This area right here is about eight minutes from his work. phone place. went off and I'm gonna um, just give you a few more details. So he, he bought the DoorDash at 221, clocked out from work to go pick up the food at 222. The last sign that anyone has of Darius was at the restaurant, he picked up the food. He parked right in front of the restaurant. So the video was able to video into his car too. Nobody else was in the car. Nobody else went into the restaurant with him. He picked up the food. They interviewed the restaurant people. They said that he was cordial. Everything was fine. He picked up his food and left. Um, they pinged his phone through the cell towers to find out what happened that day. They see that when he left the restaurant, he came into this general vicinity. So that's when they started the search. They found his car here on Friday morning. Someone else gave a tip that they saw the car here on Thursday morning, meaning it had probably been here all along since Wednesday. But on Wednesday at 3.40, his phone totally lost signal. That concerns us because it indicates that while he was here, something happened to his phone. I believe something happened to his phone because his phone is always charged. There's no time that I've ever called Darius and his phone is my off. chargers. So, so he they, they brought the dogs to smell in the car to get a scent from him. The moment the dogs got the scent, they started running this way over towards to the water. So we don't know what happened. We don't know if he was walking. We don't know. And but we know that this his phone never left this vicinity. So that's why we're searching here. So I just want to make everyone aware so as we're looking, we're not wondering like, what are we doing? Um, I'm not sure where he, the dogs went down this way, just like this path that you're talking about and then went around. And so it was towards the water. So I just want to make sure everyone Please understands. Please the police also because somebody had asked why the police is not helping us. Okay, so the police did, they did a search as well. Um, the day, like I said, the day that the dogs came here on Friday, they did a search. That was minimal what they could do. At that point when the dogs gave them a hint that he must have been here, then they engaged the state police. It became a state issue. So that night, the state did send drones and things to look. But as some people have told us, there are certain cliffs and things underneath places in this park that a drone might not pick up a person if they're there. Um, yesterday, they did bring a crew of volunteers to come and search. This place is 400 acres, five miles going on both sides. They only had about 20 people. They were here from morning until about three. And so we just wanna do our own detail because 
we have a very concerned, they wouldn't let us in during their search because at that time they said it was an investigation team. So we couldn't help. So now we, we, this is our turn because when we try to contact the detective after the police search, guess what? The detective doesn't work on weekends. So a whole weekend is gonna pass before we find out what's going on with Darius. So that's why the search was announced so late. We just had to make a decision. All right, so I just want to make sure everybody has that awareness. And we thank you all so much okay, uh, for doing this. Yeah. I believe that.